We're, we'll record this now for people who couldn't be here tonight. A couple of people asked me to do that. Um, so, um, again, put questions in the chat if you would, uh, and I'll try to clear those. Keep in mind that tonight's meeting is about, um, do you want to go on the trip? So we want to try to answer all the questions that people would have about going or not going on the trip. If you want to know whether you should bring a sweater or not, we'll save that for the meeting that we'll have before the trip, right? So let's try to try to uh, uh, focus today on whether you want to go. So you're going to want to know how much is this going to cost and when is it and you know those kinds of details about what's going to be going on on the trip, that kind of thing. So let me give you just a few introductory remarks and then we'll turn it over to Becky uh, and she can go over the, the, the trip details. So first of all, Men's Club Sisterhood has traditionally had trips for many years now. It started with Faith Eisenberg. She did a one-day trip uh, uh, to a little east uh, east of Cleveland, the Amish country, and around Ohio a little bit. We have since done trips, um, one-day trips to Pittsburgh, which the folks that went on it loved it. Um, the We've had three-day trips to Washington, D.C., to Philadelphia, to Toronto, uh, three days, two nights, and had a good time. Um, I, I, this one, I, I was encouraged by several uh, folks um, at the synagogue to think bigger. And so this trip we decided, okay, what's what's a little bigger? And in the, I think it was the Plain Dealer where I read it, an article um, that quoted uh, a former student of mine out in Aurora who um, uh, was was saying that now that Aer Lingus has this direct flight to London, to, uh, uh, to Dublin, I'm sorry, direct flight to Dublin, it makes it an attractive trip. So we kind of looked at that, called over to the Travel Connection, got a hold of Becky who specializes in Ireland, and um, it sounded like we could do this. So we'll give you the details, and it seems like it's the right price and the right amount of time. And from this trip, you can obviously come early, extend late, go where you want to go while you're over in, you know, while you're in that neck of the woods over there. Um, but I just want to mention a couple things about our trips so that you understand. Uh, Men's Club Sisterhood trips have traditionally been casual, fun, um, uh, uh, friendly, but not religious. Okay, I just want to share that. So um, there will be, you know, Becky assures me that there's a vegetarian option, for example, at every, you know, at any meal that we'll be having. Um, but you know, again, we're not going to kosher restaurants. We're not, uh, you know, if you want to say prayers before you eat, feel free. But we don't do anything in an organized way religiously during the trip. Okay, so I just want to share that, that that's the men's club sisterhood routine. Um, uh, we are, we will be, we set it up so that the, the uh, you know, Friday night sundown to Saturday night sundown is not part of the trip. Okay, so that our trip starts, if you start with an Aer Lingus flight Sunday night, you would take the Aer Lingus flight Sunday night, show up Monday morning in, in Dublin, and uh, Becky has us set up then Monday through Friday breakfast with a land tour of two cities, and she'll explain all that all that to you, okay? Obviously, if you extend, um, if you, you know, want to take a different flight, if you, whatever, you know, you'll let Becky know. Uh, she can arrange, I think, just about anything for you, um, or obviously you can do some arranging you want on your own. Um, so that's kind of the men's club sisterhood trips. Let me just see if I have anything else to tell you. Um, I think that's that's good. Again, questions, please put it in the chat. Um, and we're going to try to stay focused on what will help you decide whether you're going or not. Becky will talk about the deposit and when it would be due and, and all of that. Um, and uh, good. I'll turn it right over to Becky then. And again, if you have questions, throw them into the chat and we'll get to them. Thanks. Hello. Everybody can hear me, right? Yeah, I'm assuming. Yep. Okay, I am Becky and I work for the Travel Connection here in Aurora. And we have been working on the trip for your group. So right now we basically just have you leaving on the 15th of September. And the flights that I were looking at were the nonstop Aer Lingus flights. And those leave Cleveland around 8.30 in the evening. And you arrive into Dublin the next day around 8.50 in the morning. Uh, 
Um, the times are changing on those a little bit, but only by a few minutes. So instead of 8.50, you might get an 8.30 in the morning. And then we are going to have a bus, your own bus with your own driver at the airport to pick you up. And we are immediately are going to leave Dublin and head down south toward Kilkenny, doing a little bit of touring and stuff along the way. And we're still trying to iron out with the driver. We've been talking with him of you have eight hours a day with the driver on the bus to tour and do what have you. So we're still trying to get the little caveats and stuff worked out in there. Cause I think the way it is right now on the view trip that I've shared with you and a couple of your other colleagues, I think we have a little too much in there right now. So we've been kind of whittling that down a little bit before I actually send the flyer over tomorrow that will go into your bulletin in March. Um, but what we're trying to do is really hit some Irish highlights that you would really enjoy seeing. And to give you that, you know, when you picture Ireland, these are things that you picture. So going down to Kilkenny, it's a lovely, quaint little medieval town, has a castle, it sits on the river. We're looking at a couple of different properties. Another thing too, is that, um, you know, with basing this on 30 people, we're looking at probably like I was thinking 15 rooms of doubles, twins, and then maybe having five single rooms is kind of what I've been going to the hotels with and stuff. Should we not get 30 people, of course, the price is going to change because we're basing the motor coach on like a larger group and stuff. So we're going to have like a little bit more of a concrete price. I'm going to have that tomorrow. Um, some of the bus people and stuff came back to me with a couple of different things and that just happened today. So I was a little thrown by that. But the itinerary and stuff is not going to change. So you will have that first day, you know, coming off the flight, then you're going to get in a bus and the drive down to Kilkenny is only, it's not even two hours, but you are going to do a little bit of touring and stuff along the way overnight in Kilkenny. And I am going to have a dinner set up that night at the property. So you're not going to have to be worrying about what am I going to do for dinner? Where am I going to go? Um, and again, there will be vegetarian options. So there'll be something for everyone. And then if you feel up to it, I mean, the town is lovely. You can go out, go to a pub, you can walk around, whatever you want to do. The next morning, we'll have a time established and set where the driver will pick you up. And I think they were going to take you down and go to Waterford and do some other touring and stuff in that area and bring you back up to Kilkenny. Um, a couple of things we were still discussing, whether or not we want a dinner set up that night again because of the size of the group, or do you want to go out and try some places on your own without having to eat with the group all the time? Because there's so many restaurants with so many different options and things to do. Somebody might want pub food, somebody might want a different kind of sit down, but we're kind of like maybe leaving that second night open. And then on the third day, the bus is going to take you back up toward Dublin. But again, doing some touring and stuff along the way, stopping at some sites and stuff, getting you back into Dublin. And then that night, we were going to have the Merry Plowboys set up. And that is sort of like a traditional Irish music dancing with dinner um, performance. And then after that, you'll be at your hotel in Dublin. And then the next day, we were going to have the driver bid you farewell that day. And then that last day in Dublin, I was going to basically leave open so people can kind of do what they want to do. If you want to go to like the epic, you know, Irish Immigration Museum, if you want to spend more time at Trinity College, seeing the Book of Kells, going to the old library, if you want to go to Guinness, maybe you want to do Jameson, you know, there's all, there's different museums, there's the castle, there's all kinds of things that you could do shopping is wonderful in St. Stephen's Green or on Grafton Street. So that last day could really just kind of be whatever you want to do. And again, sort of on your own for dinner in Dublin, and we can always give suggestions and recommendations. And then the next day, I will have a transfer set up to pick you up at the hotel that will take you back to the Dublin airport. The flight on Air Lingus leaves around 3.30, and it gets you back into Cleveland about 6.50. So the Air Lingus nonstop flights is what I was looking at. But certainly if somebody wants to extend or they have an airline of preference where they get miles or something like that, that is something we can definitely work out. If somebody wants to go in ahead of time and do something else, or if you want to end in Dublin and maybe go see some other places in the country, you know, I can branch off and do that for you on your own. So it's really just two days in Kilkenny and two days in Dublin and seeing some sites that are sort of in that little area there. Um, when you first come in. So that's kind of how the tour is set up. And we are including some admissions to things. 
So I think it's going to be a nice comprehensive little tour. And it's going to be nice that you have your own bus with your own people and your own driver, and you will have the same driver every day. Um, so that's kind of a little bit about the tour. Is there, does anyone have any questions or anything about the tour? I'm not seeing a. Well, let me, let me, you know, let me, let me just ask you again. I, I don't, I don't, it's a large enough group that I, I hate to just kind of have everybody talking at once, but mm -hmm. what, what you're saying is that there will be some options. You gave the Aer Lingus flight Friday coming back. Mm -hmm. For those of you that uh, Friday sundown is important to you, uh, that flight gets in like minutes before sundown on Friday night. So if that's a concern of yours, um, you know, you'll arrange something else. Either you'll stay longer or you'll catch different flights or whatever. But what Becky described was the direct um, to, to Dublin and the direct back. And keep in mind that Aer Lingus doesn't fly every day direct to Cleveland um, a few times a week. Right, Becky? Yes, they do not fly on Tuesdays, Thursdays, or Saturdays. Okay. So, um, you know, so there... So that's yes, and that last day, I'm working with a few different hotels. I haven't actually pinpointed or picked one. Originally, we were going to go with the Ashling Hotel, but after, like, talking with Mark and his mother, we want to get one that is more centrally located. So when you walk out of the hotel, you are right there to go shopping, um, restaurants, pubs. I want to have you in an area that is completely safe. And right when you come out of the hotel, you can go and do stuff. So we're actually working with a few other hotels and I'm going to probably make a decision on that here in the next few days. Um, I'm just kind of waiting to see who comes back and the rooms I can get and stuff like that. And if you were to ballpark the price right now, Becky, I know you're, you're concerned about giving a number, but you mentioned a, a little over $2,000 a person. Is that still a fair a fair it still is i like i said i'm going to add some admissions and stuff in it could be like around 25 26 okay. with all but it'll be comp it'll have meal like i'm going to have two meals put in it one in dublin one in kilkenny but it's going to have a lot in it for its value and then the airfare has been like a roller coaster it's been up and down and it'll continue to do so until we get a bit of a head count and i can lock in like a group rate for those who are going to go on Aer Lingus. And then I can look at other flights and stuff. But yeah, I still think it's a pretty safe. And tomorrow I'll have like a pretty concrete ballpark and I can send that over um, to yourself. And then I can send it somebody, a couple other people I've been working with. I can send them a flyer that I was going to send over. This is real simple Okay, um, can that you, can go in your bulletin. If, if let's assume we're right, let's say it's around $2,500. Mm -hmm. um, and if we're interested in going... There's a non-refundable deposit of some amount of money by some amount of date. What what by some date? What what is? Yeah. That? So actually, the deposit is actually two fifty per person. Okay. And that would be due um, as soon as you know that you want to go on the trip. So I think we were going to try to think. I think maybe in a discussion you and I had is right around like maybe March fifteenth or something to kind of see where we are interest wise. And then I was going to target maybe for like a day in maybe like April 1 or something like that to start getting deposits in. And then final payment has to be made about 45 days prior to the trip. Okay. So if people are interested, they'll want to give you $250 a person. Uh, and how would they give that to you? So what I'm going to do is we're making a registration form. So a registration form I'm going to send over um, that you guys will have on hand. And that people who are interested, they can get a copy of that. And that will need your passport names exactly as they appear, passport numbers, date of birth, address, emergency contact, all of that. So any special needs that you have. And when I say special needs, I'm talking about if you have a CPAP, if you're a diabetic, um, you know, special meals, any kind of like if you need wheelchair assistance, any of these special needs that will go on this form as well. If you've got frequent flyer numbers, global entry, all of that will be on there. And there will be also a little box at the bottom with credit card. So you can either um, put your credit card information on there, and then we have a secure link that we run in-house. Or if you feel that you would rather write a check, it tells you who you can make the check payable to and the address. Okay. And um, so we're going to have to have a passport. We want to emphasize that, right? Because yes, and it must have at least 
six months validity on it past the return date. So I want you to take that date of September 20th and get six months past that in order for it to be valid. Okay. So a non-refundable deposit of $250 a person, we mm -hmm. want to get those by sometime March, right? I would and say March or yes, um, uh, like April 1st. And I'm also working on insurance. So that way people can have insurance and insurance is a really good thing to have because over in Ireland, I mean, I don't know, and I'm certainly not assuming people are on Medicare or anything like that, but they don't accept that over there. So I want you to have some insurance that has some medical coverage, trip interruption, trip delay. Um, if for some reason you can't go, I mean, if you get sick, as long as it's a documentable reason, like a doctor tells you, I'm sorry, you know, you're sick, you can't go, you have COVID, or if there's a death in your family or something, I don't want to see you lose your money. So the I can get a price on the trip insurance and everything that it would cost. Okay. Um, let's see. I have a couple questions here. Sure. So uh, in terms of the tour, we identified, when we spoke, we identified that there aren't a lot of Jewish things in Men's Club Sisterhood. Trips. We have one in Dublin, right. and we're going to include that. Right. We have that to reach out to them. I reached out to them once. So I need to reach out again. They want to like, you know, with a date, a time and how many people. So I can reach out to them as soon as we get a little bit more of a head count and stuff like that. Okay. And that, and that, and that was the Jewish museum, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And um, okay. I think you answered the other question that you're going to try to get hotel. You, you had mentioned to me that the hotels that you were looking at were four-star hotels. Yes, and I'm getting them in good locations where you can easily come out and go do stuff. Mm -hmm. okay. And they will have restaurants in them. And like I said, I'm going to have one set up that first night in Kilkenny and then another one set up at the Mary Plowboys. Okay. And um, can you put some contact information in the chat so people can call you directly? Because I think yeah. several folks are going to have very specific questions about extension or coming in early or that kind of thing that will um, uh, help them decide to go on the trip. You know, if they, you know, several people have talked about while I'm that far across the ocean there, I wanna go do some other things. So, and- Yeah, can, of course. You can arrange that for them, right? Oh, absolutely. Like I said, if you wanna go over early or if you wanna extend or you wanna do something, absolutely. Yeah, I can, I'm happy to help you. And I can get my information sent out to everybody, sure. Okay, let's take, Let's take singles for a second then, Becky. So common on our men's club sisterhood trip, um, singles will buddy up uh, with uh, couples or other singles. As, uh -huh. we, as we tour and go places, people don't tend to wanna walk around strange places without being with somebody else. Okay, so that's common. In terms of rooming, um, they might want a single room, right? Right, that's kind of what I meant line. by the single was um, right. a single room. Now with single rooms, there's a single supplement that comes with that. I'm working with the hotels to try to maybe whittle that down a little bit. But um, yeah, they can definitely have their own room. Like if they don't have someone to share with or they're not comfortable with a roommate or something like that, we can I can absolutely do that. Okay. We're shooting for... 30 people, right? Yep. Becky said that. Yes. And that's what we're pricing it at and hoping that that's what we'll be close to, you know, give or take one or two people or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so with that, I should mention that right now, if we fill up with members or men's club members or sisterhood members, um, that's how we would fill up. Can non-members go? It's, it's you know, it's common for um, for some folks to want to bring somebody with them. And I guess what I'd say is the answer is they can, but we want to make sure that we get, uh, you know, members in first. Now, some people can have joined sisterhood, but not be members of the synagogue or have joined men's club, but not be members of the synagogue. And that's fine. Okay. I guess I'll say that's fine. Laurel, am I saying anything wrong? We okay? Laurel, Laurel, you have to unmute. Laurel is, is our sisterhood uh, representative here. Wait, you're still un unmuting. Oh, we're, we're good. Okay, we're okay. Okay, got it. Um, 
I'm like one of those Hi, people. Laurel. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's fair to say. Okay. It's just like when would non sisterhood or men's club, non synagogue people be know whether or not there's room for them? Well, I guess that's one of the reasons that we, what 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 we've done in the past is that we just put people on a waiting list, right? They say they're interested, they let us know, and then we say just hold off for a minute and let's make sure we have you know that we have room for you. Um, <laughs> Becky, what's the you know? Let's say we go to thirty five or forty people. What's the what what's the impact on that for you? I would have to probably check with the bus company because right now I have a bus that's going to basically suit that. But if we start to see early enough that we're getting more people, then I would have to try to get more space. Okay. So, so I mean, it's something that it's a definitely something that, you know, it's not the first time it's happened, but we can, you know, tackle that as we see it coming in. Okay. Okay. Um, I guess if you have other questions, you can always hit your, you know, you can raise your hand if you want. It's not that we can't take a question from you individually. Oh, yeah, of course. I'm happy to answer anything that anybody. We good? Do we have enough information to be dangerous? Are we okay? We, and uh, like I said, I'm going to have a flyer over tomorrow and with a little bit more concrete pricing and what's included. And um yeah, if you have any questions or something I, for me, you can I get up with me anytime. Question. Go ahead, Grace. Just, what do you have? I just want to know if that twenty five hundred is that including airfare or not including airfare? That's We're just the problem. land. Okay. That's just the land. Yes. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I, I think what we're going to need to have you do, um, I, I tried to write down as many names as I could and do a screenshot here. But if you if you are interested in more information when Becky has it, why don't you, if you're a sisterhood person, why don't you email Laurel? If you're a men's club person, why don't you email me? And uh, I'll throw my email in the chat here and Laurel can do the same. And this way we'll communicate with you when, because sure. Becky, Becky's gonna give us better information and how will we know who to get back to? So let me... I think I just sent to everyone. There you go. You have Laurel's email. You have my email. Make sure one of us knows that you want more information when Becky gives it to us. Oh, okay. Okay. I have a question. Sure. Yeah, go ahead, Carol. I think that you answered this, Becky. You're going to put your um, contact. You're going to put your contact information in there too. Um, because we were interested, my daughter and I are interested in going, but we might want, we're there, we might want to extend it. And you said you would work with us. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so absolutely. How to, how to plan that. So make sure that you put yours in there too, so we could get a hold of you. I am trying to get it in here, but my box is frozen at the moment. But okay. give me a minute. I know technology well, and not, I are not good if friends. Not, <laughs> if not, Becky is Becky Donaldson and she's at the Travel Connection in Aurora. So it's, it's you can super find easy. It. It's Becky. B E C K Y at the travel connection dot com. Oh, wait, Becky at the travel connection dot Okay. I can read. Becky at the travel connection dot com. Hold on. I'm just writing that into the chat so that. Thank you. My box is like just forgetting <laughs> things. Okay. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Sure. What else? Joel, you have something? Yeah, I just like to say it's nice to see such a nice response already. I and know Jerry and Becky putting this together. It's great. Mm -hmm. uh, Becky, is the trip contingent on Aer Lingus operating through the month of September? Yeah, uh, Aer Lingus right now. How assured are you with it? with airlines today? It's it's, it's, it's oh a, maybe it is. So yeah. Aer Lingus, we have been trying to get Aer Lingus here in Cleveland for a long time. So when they came on board last year and signed a contract with Cleveland, the contract was for three years. So as long as that plane keeps filling, and so far what I've seen here for 24, it's filling. So they're doing really well. I mean, of course, in the winter months, you know, we live in Cleveland. We don't need to flock to Ireland to be cold. But um, they... You know, they suspended some of it for like January, February, but it comes back hardcore in March. 
and it's going through the whole year. And September is a nice time to go. It's not in the heart of peak season, but it's still a good time weather-wise and um, popularity time to go. So we're, we're looking good with Aer Lingus. And like I said, if people don't want to go on Aer Lingus, we can certainly look at other flights too. But so far, Aer Lingus is doing really well out of Cleveland. I hope it continues. Ginsburg, do you have a question? Yeah, do you have any idea what the airfare is? The airfare, when I looked at it the other day, it was coming in at about 1050. I mean, that's a give or take a little high for September maybe, but that's just kind of where it's been sitting right now. And I've checked it a couple of times, but I will, just, you know, continuously check it and see where I can get better rates and stuff too. Yeah. Flights to Europe aren't cheap at this point, even, even a little off season-y. I know it's, it's just not, I, I was hoping we can do a little better, but we'll keep an eye on it. Well, the nice thing is, and the reason we picked uh, uh, Ireland right now was because it's nice to get on a plane in Cleveland and then get off at your destination, right? Um, I can check on triples. So if someone knows that they have a triple, a lot of the hotels I'm working with, that they, they will allow a triple. I just have to go to them and let them know because usually they just there's an extra bed in there. I mean, some of the bedding is just weird. Like there might be a double bed and a single bed or they'll have two beds or something. But yeah, a triple I can usually swing. So if somebody knows that they want that, then just let me know. And that certainly would control costs on the part of the individual that's joining a, a couple. Correct. Right? Good. Other questions? Um, can I just see on the screen a show of hands of people who think they're very interested in going? You know, you know you're not making a, a money commitment at this point. Okay, good. That's nice. great. I see, all, I, I see all the people that I like, Becky. So I, I'm. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> and if I can talk Mark into it, maybe he'll let me go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be great. No. Um. Yeah. Cindy and I are excited about going too. And um, I see a bunch of folks. Yes, Joel, you have another question or is that just your old hand? Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Last round for any questions? You can certainly reach out to me in an email too, if you have more. I mean, sometimes, you know, later on you're thinking of something like, oh, I wish I'd have asked that. Just shoot me an email and I can answer it for you. And again, um, you can... Um, uh, you know, you, you can make other arrangements on your own outside of our land week, right? You know, you can do what you oh, want. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Right? But but Becky's there and able to be helpful to you, which which we're happy for. And um, what else? Any quick questions? We're good? Okay. Let Becky or myself or Laurel, you know, know that you're, um, you know, attaching onto this trip so that, again, we want to make sure we save spots for the folks. Yes, uh, and I will get here. some spreadsheets going, and that way I yeah. can keep a running track, too. And, you know, by the way, uh, those of you that have never gone on a men's club sisterhood trip, subject to change, right? I mean, we're flexible. Um, when we did Washington and we got into the White House, we were thrilled, right? When we, uh, you know, when we go somewhere and all of a sudden we can't get to the spot we thought we'd get to, we all smile, nod, and move on, right? You know, we have to be flexible on these kinds of trips. Um, but Becky promises we'll have a good bus driver. A, yes, a you're going to have tour, a great one. A tour guide bus driver, right, Becky? Yes. So, mm -hmm. you know, tells us you're going to love them. Going. You're going to want to bring them home with you. They're fantastic. Okay, great. Okay, we're excited. I Thank know. You. I'm excited for you. It was a pleasure talking to everybody tonight and putting like faces to names. Thanks, everybody. And we will, again, let Becky or Laurel or myself know that you're that you're going and uh, get your deposits in and we'll see where we go from there. Thank you. Great. Thank you, guys. Have a nice Thanks. night. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks, Becky.